Okay guys, I'm going to be showing you in this video is going to be a, a tutorial on how to move funds from the Binance network to the Polygon network. How to do that in MetaMask, how to add the custom RPC to MetaMask, how to get some free Matic from a faucet so that you can pay for your transfer fees, and that's pretty much it. So let's get straight into it. Um, basically, the first thing that you're going to need to know is hopefully you guys already know you already have metamask and you already have been using metamask to access the binance chain so you're going to want to open metamask you're not going to be able to see it on my screen um just because of like security features but basically i've pulled it up on a google images the links to everything i'm going to show you is in the description so if you get confused you can check it out for yourself um, you can also message me on Telegram, Twitter. I'm going to have the links down there as well. You can also leave a comment on the YouTube if you do get confused. I'm trying to stay active on helping you guys. So basically, you're going to open up MetaMask. On the top, you're going to see right here where it says Ethereum Mainnet. It'll probably say Binance for you. Click on that, and then you're going to... Um, scroll down to the very bottom of the list you're going to see things like ethereum network robston te test network you're going to see your binance mainnet you're going to click custom rpc once you've clicked custom rpc you're going to hit find this link that i'm going to post in the description and you're going to input these manually okay so network name meta matic mainnet here's your custom rpc chain id currency symbol block explorer once you input that in there you're going to have access to the network through metamask you can also do this automatically there's a couple websites that'll kind of do it for you um, those websites did not work for me and i always do it manually so follow the steps i just described for you hit custom rp rpc and metamask input these right here and you'll be good to go the next step you're going to want to do now that you have access to the Matic network on Polygon, you're going to want to um, switch over to that on MetaMask. So now you're actually going to hit that little button right here. You can also see it on this page right here where it says Kovan Tets Network. See how it says custom RPC? That's where you're going to click to input. Once you've inputted it manually, it's going to populate on this list. So where it says main Ethereum network, Robston, it's going to have your Matic network. Then you're going to click on that. Now you're ready to work on the network, on the Polygon network, okay? So once you're there, once you're in the network, you can go to this faucet and you can get yourself a free 0 .001 Matic. Now what that's going to do, that's going to allow you to make transfers because what they say here is you can make about a hundred transfers or transactions just with that 0 0.001. So I've already done this in my wallet. I have the 0 0.001 Matic. All you got to do is um, prove you're not a robot and click this button and be connected to the network through MetaMask. All right. So that's how you're going to get a little bit of free Matic to cover some gas fees. I'm going to have all these links. There's another faucet here. I'd use this one. It didn't work for me. So the other one did work. Now that you have some Matic and you are on, you are connected through MetaMask to both the Binance and the Matic network, you want to go back to the Binance network. So connect yourself to the BSC mainnet where you have your funds that you want to transfer. You're going to go to a website called XPollinate. All right, I'm going to put the link in the description here as well. Now, this step might take a little while depending on how much liquidity, but you're going to want to have um, either DAI, USDC, or USDT, so stablecoin. And we're going to be able to move these from Binance to Matic. Now, you can also go to Phantom or XDAI chain, but we're worried about Matic right now. This is how we're going to bridge between the two networks. So once you have this all set up, Binance to Matic, USDC, and your address. Now it's going to be the same address for both. For both, it's going to end in the 4F10. So that's why you only need to put in the one address because it's going from the 4F10 here on the Binance to the 4F10 here on the Matic. 
So you're going to hit swap. I did this one time already. It took a little while. So if this takes a while, I might edit the video. Um, sign that on MetaMask. It's going to set up the channels for you. If you have any pending transfers, it's going to tell you. Okay, so I'm going to send the rest of my USDC. Which is 14. And I'm going to go ahead and swap that. So what that's doing is that's sending it from the Binance to the Matic network. Oops. So hit swap. Now, last time I did this, it actually took a while. You're going to have to confirm that in MetaMask. It took me a couple minutes to send. I sent like five USDC already to test this. And the reason why people, so that says confirmed. I'm not sure if it's already through. Um, you can see the fees is only seven cents. And the reason why people are moving over to Polygon right now is because for one, it's a newer network. It has a lot less fees. Um, that's pretty much the main reason is the fees. So now it says transferring USDC. This step can take some time if the chain is congested. Like I said, this might take a minute. This is the last step in the process. Okay, guys. So now it says success. We've moved the 14 USDC over. Let's go ahead and check that. Um, you guys actually won't able to be to see the check, unfortunately, but um, we can if we pull it up on the Explorer. So let me go to a Polygon uh, Block Explorer. I could have pulled it up just there. I probably should have, but that's okay. We just need to put my address in. And you can see 23 minutes ago, I got 0 0.001 Matic from the faucet. And then if you go to ERC20 token transactions, you'll see both my USDC transactions. So it worked. Everything is there. That's how you do it. That's how you move from Binance to Polygon. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and have a good one guys.